Controlled grass fire destroyed a house and several vehicles in Emirato, North Dakota today. Valley News Team's Aaron Walling has been on the scene for hours and joins us now live with details. Aaron? Thanks, Mike. And yes, the fire is still burning. If you actually take a look behind me, the remnants of the fire is still going on. Uh, fire chief on scene said that that's the railroad ties. Those are going to be burning throughout the night. And actually in some areas around this uh, neighborhood, there's actually still some fires. Small ones, nothing too big. Fire chief and the fire marshal were out here earlier to investigate the fire. Now they said that only one house burnt down. And on top of it, there were four fire departments that were out here battling the fire. You had Emirato, Thompson, Manville, and Grand Forks Air Force Base. Now, the fire chief on scene said that there were two houses that were close to being caught in the fire, but thankfully to the four different fire departments, they were able to battle it before getting to those homes. And they also said three to four vehicles were caught in the fire as well. Now, I spoke with the assistant chief, fire chief, and he says that grass fires are extremely dangerous. Grass fires are actually very, very dangerous. Um, it seems like it's just grass that's burning, but you know, it, with the wind changing on you, it can swirl around you and get, get, get in behind you before you even realize it. So it, it's a very dangerous thing. Now, Mike, Andrea, I can tell you this much. The air is still thick with smoke. We should be learning more information of what caused this fire tomorrow. Back for, well, for now, back to you guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. And authorities are reminding people to be extra careful during these dry conditions. They say one spark and a little wind can lead to trouble just like you saw.